Hey, I'm Evan Gilman. I am uh, the co-author of Zero Trust Network's book and also maintainer on the Spiffy Inspire projects. And in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the importance of authentication in a Zero Trust Network and how Spire can help you with that. But at first, I think it's uh, useful to do a little quick recap of what a Zero Trust Network is. Um, Zero Trust Network is a network without trust. That's the easiest way that I can explain it. And that's kind of from a systems perspective. So the systems don't necessarily trust the network to do what it's supposed to do, do it honestly. Um, so we rely on software to do the security. And uh, we put the security kind of on top of the network rather than in the network. So we go from this kind of model where the security is built into the network to this model where the security is shipped alongside the software or in the software. Right. Um, I think there's many reasons for uh, the zero trust network popularity right now, or growing popularity. Um, but perhaps the largest one is just because um, traditional network security patterns don't solve very well uh, for like modern software architecture. Um, modern software architecture, practically everything is ephemeral, right? We have clusters, hosts, software instances, all kind of coming and going. Um, they may live only for a few seconds and then go away. Uh, they might also move around from one provider to another provider, or from one data center to another data center. Uh, so rather than using location or IP address uh, to do access control as we've traditionally done, uh, in this model we move uh, towards a, a model where all network flows are kind of like strongly authenticated and authorized. So the security is literally between every service, right? Um, and you can't really have zero trust without authentication, right? It's kind of a given. Um, and it's not just like user authentication, it's also machine to machine uh, uh, authentication and software to software authentication, right? And this is becoming more and more critical as systems become more complex, right? It turns out that uh, this is a really hard problem and uh, mostly because everything needs to have an identity. Everything needs to have some sort of credentials, right? Otherwise, how do you know who this guy is or who this person is, right? Um, so there's this huge amount of work that has to be done, and it all ha kind of has to be automated. Automation is like totally critical in order to get this thing right. And the reason is because you have all these moving parts, and they're all moving at the same time. Uh, and in these highly dynamic environments, you can't really have a human in the loop. Because you know if you have a job that runs for one second, you can't have a human go and say, oh, I know that job. That's Bob's job or whatever. Uh, that doesn't really fly. So identification and the issuance of, of identity and credentials has to be automatic, super automatic, right? And this is where Spire comes in. Spire is a software project which is designed to automate the issuance of cryptographic identity. It's uh, built to be platform agnostic, uh, built to run pretty much anywhere. Uh, as a result of this, it's highly pluggable. Um, so all kind of like the core components that, that, that are platform specific can be popped in and out and mixed and matched. So if you have some custom foo in your data center or something like this, uh, it's fairly easy to write a small plugin, pop it into Spire, and teach Spire about the particulars of your infrastructure. Uh, all the identities that it issues are based on the Spiffy standard, which is an open standard um, that is meant for interoperability, similar to Spire. Spiffy is also platform agnostic, uh, so there's it, the, the identity and the concept of identity, the validation of that identity, is not tied to any particular runtime or any particular platform underneath it. Um, but the coolest part about all this, I think at least, is that because all, this, all of this is highly automated, we can very easily rotate keys and credentials. Um, all the keys are very short-lived as a result of that. The rotation is really a first-class citizen in this system. And we can actually push this rotations and updates and even revocations into, into workloads as they occur. And finally, uh, Spire is built to scale. It can easily scale to 10,000 nodes plus, and we have seen those, those deployments be fairly successful. Um, so it, it can really run anywhere and on anything.